Hi, in this video tutorial, we're going to use the previous techniques that we've seen to create ourselves a very simple pixel paint package. So the first thing that we're going to do for that is we're going to create ourselves a mouse input. So start with make, go over here for the mouse and we see like an update of the mouse. Now you notice if you restart, you start with no data. So we're going to add a merge over here so that at least at the moment of start we always have something as data whether we move the mouse or not let's rename this function to mouse input let's create a new function the thing that we want to do with this mouse is we want to make sure that it's going to be pixel perfect we want to make it snap to the pixels so again we start with a make and to do this, we're going to rebuild uh, over here a point by using the X and the Y values. So we're going to add the mouse input in both of these values and we're going to extract the X and the Y. So the moment that you start moving, you see it's working exactly the same, except that we now have control over each one of these values. And that will allow us to snap these values. So if we round them, it's going to be pixel perfect. As you can see, the mouse is snapping all the time. There's one thing that we want to change though. Right now it's snapping at the edges. We want it to snap at the center point. How can we do this? It's quite easy. So we're going to, prior to the rounding, we're going to give it an offset of a half. And then we're going to subtract the half again. So plus a half, and then at the end, we're going to subtract a half. I'm going to do this again over here, plus a half, and again, subtract a half. So now we're snapping like nicely in the center of our pixels. Let's rename this function snapped mouse input there's still one detail that we want to change and that has to do with uh, efficiency and performance now, if you see over here if we move the mouse around our cursor is not changing position but yet the updates are happening all the time see the little dot is turned yellow all the time because we are moving our data which is being fed in so in order to remove that issue, we're going to add a calm function, which is going to make sure that only when it's like really updating values, at that point it's going to trigger. And now we have like a more efficient result. Great. So now that we have our snap mouse input, we're going to create ourselves a cursor. So go to shape, and we're going to make ourselves a one pixel size cursor. So we take the square over here, scaled by half, and we will move it around by the mouse that we have over here. So you see it's like nicely snapping. Rename this one also to cursor. Let's create a new function because now what we want to do is we want to be able to draw on the canvas. And the way how we will draw on the canvas is by feedbacking the drawn result every time back to the new version. So how do we do this? Well, let's start with an empty canvas and we're going to put this under our cursor. And so we create again a new function to see like the end result that we have over here. So remember as before, that whenever we want to do this and we want to link up directly, it doesn't work because it wouldn't make any sense. It has, let's say, no data before. So we need to use the merge node in order to create this loop. Let's go to the updates, add a merge, and we're going to link it in over here. So now we're able to draw, but we have to be careful. You see, the feedback loop is running all the time. That's something that we don't want. We want to have the feedback loop only being fed in the moment that we give an update. So in order to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to take like a snapshot. 
So add a snapshot and we update it every time our mouse input is updating. So now the feedback loop is broken. You see it's not updating all the time. It's only going to update the moment that we drag over here. So we're getting close now to our paint package. There's still one thing missing though. Right now it's a collection of shapes drawn on top of each other. That's not very efficient. It's not what we want. We want to make it into something like more efficient. Let's say just into an image. So we're going to make sure that this part is always converted into an image. That image is then being fed back in and added with the cursor upon. So the only shape that is then being kept is the shape of the cursor. The rest is just going to be an image. So let's go, it's not the transformation, let's go to construction and we will render into, into an image. Now the resolution of the image, we're going to make it like fitting exactly to the size of our cursor. This means, let's say, 9 times 2, we get like 18 over here for the width, and then 2 times 6 for the height, which is 12. So now if we draw, we get like a very smooth version. We're going to keep it sharp by switching off the boolean. And so here we go. Right now we have created our very simple, nice painting pixel package or pixel paint package. And if you think about it, you can play around a little bit. You can make it so that you can change the resolution by having like a common value to change or you can add some more functionality up to your own liking. So that's it for this tutorial.